world. It's Caroline. And sorry, my voice is a little scratchy. I don't know why. Maybe I do. But, <laughs> hair in my mouth. Okay, so, today I'll be doing five, I think five, I don't know, I'm not very good at counting. Um, five fall DIYs. One of them is, uh, more Halloween-y. Sorry, I didn't really mean to, and, and I didn't realize it till I actually got done making it, and I'm like, oh, oh, so yeah, sorry about that, and also this video is a collab with my good friend Amber from, okay, bye, Moo Moo, okay, bye, Mia. um, from All About Amber, she's also doing, <coughs> she's also doing five D, uh, or er, Fall DIYs. I don't know if she's doing five. I don't know how much she's doing. But she's also doing Fall DIYs. So make sure you go check out her video. It'll be in the top of the description box down below. But it's in the description box of every video. And without further ado, let's get started. For the next DIY, we're going to want a hot glue gun. Accessories. I got these cute little brooms from Hobby Lobby. Felt hats or plastic hats. Doesn't really matter. You can uh, make these or buy them. Hot glue gun sticks. And last but definitely not least, headbands. So what you want to do, of course, you're going to want to uh, glue the hat onto the headband, whether you want it on top or on the side, I think. I'm going to do it on the side. But before you do that, if you want any cute embellishments, because it's kind of boring at the moment, you want to take some ribbon and wrap it around. And then cut it, which I'm gonna, I just realized you're also gonna need scissors. Okay, so now you wanna glue your main piece of ribbon onto the hat. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start in the back, put a little dab, put a dab of hot glue. Um, and I'm gonna stick the ribbon on like so. I hate when people say that so much. So yeah, and then you want to do this throughout the whole entire rim or wherever you want on the ribbon. hat. I cut out this little piece of ribbon and I'm going to glue that on. So I'm just going to put this a little bit because I don't need very much. That much maybe? Oh, come on. Come out. Okay. And then I'm going to stick it on the front like so. Oh, 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 that's hot. In case you didn't know, hot glue is very hot. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Let me show you guys. So it looks like that. I'm gonna bend it down. So next, I'm gonna fill in some spots because since it's, oh my gosh, I accidentally just got hot glue everywhere. Since it's all patched in. Okay. So I have these adorable little brooms. And I'm going to put them somewhere. It's a great description, am I right? I'm going to put this one like that. Okay, yeah. I'm going to change my mind. I have changed my mind. I'm going to put it, like, right here. Hanging off the edge of the hat. So, yeah, I'm just going to glue that on. Oh, that's a lot of glue. No turning back. So I'm going to glue the wood and then I'm going to glue the other part. Cute. We're going to glue the headband on. And I'm going to do a little bit of a, di of a diagonal angle. So I'm going to grab another hot glue gun stick because I'm going to need one. If I can. Um, so I'm going to put that there. And I'm using, using the wrong size. Such a bad girl. Um, and I'm just going to put a big blob there. One second. I'm going to have to use my legs. So I'm sorry. That footage. Go. You're gonna want a good amount of hot glue because this is you want this to stick. Oh my gosh, I'd be so mad if this fell apart. Especially at school, like on Halloween day or something. Okay, so then you want to put it on. Okay, this isn't gonna work. Okay, one second, guys. Let me just kind of angle. Oh hi, kitty cat. Kitty cat, you want to be in the video? He's like, what are you doing? What video? So in conclusion, um, make sure you measure where the hot 
the headband's gonna touch when you're doing this. Sorry, my brother is doing homework with his girlfriend. So look, I'm gonna have it like that. I'm just gonna add more hot glue until it's how sturdy I want it to be, which is gonna be pretty sturdy. Boom, boom, boom. It's done, in case you can see it. It's really cute. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of lots of the hot glue strings, maybe put a little bit more hot glue, but it's in there pretty good. And yeah, it's so cute. It looks like something you buy at the store, and then you'd say, oh, I can make, I bet you I can make that. Because you can. So yeah, and on to the next tip. Wreath, oh, did I say that right? Yes, wreaths aren't just for Christmas. So I got this for like $2 at Walmart. You can get bigger or smaller ones. I just want a little bit of smaller one. And then, seriously, do you have to sit on them? I got this huge bouquet of flowers to decorate with, and it's got leaves and stuff, and I'm going to give this as a gift to my grandparents. So you're going to need a bouquet of flowers, hot glue, and scissors, of course, because scissors basically in every single DIY ever. So I'm going to put those on the floor because they're kind of taking up a lot of room. Okay. So you want to take the flowers off the stems and first lay them out how you want them to look. So I'm going to... Oh, 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 oh. oh, this is a pretty flower. Um, I love taking these off the stem. It's like satisfying. And you want to like lay them out and then rearrange them. And then you're going to go in and glue them. So yeah, let's get started. I feel like I'm dissecting something. It's like these, like, whoa! That happened. <coughs> these leaves are hard to get off. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Let's get this leaf off. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, I'll be right back when I'm done <coughs> dissecting my not my cat is like freaking out she's like what are you doing Caroline like this video if you want to see a video of my cat or you know like this video if you like fall DIYs or like this video if you like my channel our channel or like this video if you hate fall DIYs or like this video if you like to watch YouTube and if you don't, then I'll be very sad. There we go. My little, I'm almost done, and you can play with this, okay? She's like, why are there a bunch of leaves in this stuff? Here you go, Momo. Look at this. Look at this. It's like violet. I'm sorry. I didn't hit her. Okay, I've been going in leaves for about know. 10, maybe 15 minutes. And this is how it looks. It definitely looks a little bit fuller. Um, again, I'm not going to put anything here because there's going to be a big bow. But, yeah, um, it's going to hang like this, and the big bow is going to be, like, right there, I think. I guess it could hang like that. I don't know. I'm going to figure that out. But I trimmed a few pieces. I trimmed a few pieces that were a little crazy on the inside because it was, like, crisscross. So I trimmed some of those, and then it looks a little bit nicer. I'm still not quite done. I'm going to add a few more leaves. I still have a ton. Like, a ton. And for those of you who are wondering, this bouquet was five dollars, and I think it was a pretty good deal because I got tons of different, different flowers and different um, types of leaves. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys that when you're gluing the leaves and maybe some of the flowers in, I recommend using a low heat hot glue gun, and not a high heat one, because it melted it. So these little plastic ends, it would melt it, and then it just like would fall off. But I still even get to use it. It it's been working. Okay, really just I've been playing with some glitter for a little bit. Um, I actually ended up putting some hairspray on it because I didn't want like the shiny glue look, but I wanted the glitter to stick. So I did some hairspray and glitter. That's what it looks like. Look beautiful. The glitter's all staying. Well, this is like my leftover pile. That's gonna be fun to clean up. This whole room's gonna be fun. Like, there's leaves everywhere. But yeah, I'm gonna go tie the bow, and I'm gonna actually have my mom do it because I'm not very good at tying pretty bows. And I'm gonna to use this, so I'm gonna go have her tie that. I'll be right back. 
I think I am done. I might add a few other leaves. I'm not quite sure. But this is how it looks. I think it looks really cute. I'm going to trim a few of these. But yeah, I really like it. I love the glitter. I ended up rolling my hot glue gun in these. And then um, it like fizzled out the other stuff and then put glitter there instead. So yeah, I think it looks really cute. I think my grandma's going to like it. So let's go get it. Let's go give it to her. <clears throat> For the next DIY, the next DIY, I'm gonna be making a candle. And the main thing that I need is some candle wax. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Which, by the way, everything you see in this video is either from Hobby Lobby or Walmart. So, if you want to get all the stuff, there. And. I got two crayons, one big orange and one little brown. And then you're also going to need a container and something to stir with and some sort of double boiler um, of some sort to be, oh, um, some sort of double boiler to um, try, I love squishing this, to melt the wax. So, let's put these together and melt. Okay, so I've melted the wax and it together. I didn't have any essential oils, but so my cat's back there. So I just um, put cinnamon in it and I'm not going to burn it because I don't want to burn candles in my room. It's just going to be like a smelly thing to have some more it in. Oh, let me mix it a little bit because the cinnamon all sticks to the bottom. Let's get that all up and going. Okay, so now I'm just going to pour it in here before it dries out. Ooh, I'm so. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Oh, it smells good. It smells like cinnamon, and to me that smells like fall. If it doesn't smell like fall to you, I apologize, but still a little bit left. I can go heat that up. I don't like how much is in here. One second. <laughs> okay, so for the next DIY, um, you're gonna need a little stamp. But if you like to free draw things, that's okay. That you can do that. I'm not very good at free painting, but it's a football stamp some sort of wood plank. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby along, along with the football stamp that was right there. And and uh, uh, you can also get this at Walmart. They have a new wood section that I was very excited about. I need a paintbrush, paint, and if you li would like some stain. Which, be careful with stain because it stains. <laughs> you get it? You get why it's called stain now? So, you might open up the stain, which I just did earlier, so then I wouldn't have to ha hassle. I'm going to throw everything else that I don't need it for the moment. And I always use a paper towel. It's kind of my thing. Oh my gosh, this stuff smells like a new house, which I love. And I'm going to just go over. This might be a little too dark. But I'll make it work. So yeah, you just want to lightly go over it. Again, since we're doing a, I'm doing a football. You don't want it to be too dark. So yeah. Okay, this has dried and I have sand it, sanded it. Is that a word? Well, I sanded it down, and now I'm gonna be painting my um my stamp and the key to these is you want to put a lot of paint you don't want it to be a very thin coat you want it to be pretty thick because otherwise it won't show up oops i just got some of the wrong color there but that's okay and you don't have to do the colors of a real football you can do you know different colors and stuff you can also free paint this on, but concerned. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just go set it. I'm gonna put a lot of pressure. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna lift it up. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, oh, look at the lines on that. Um, so it came out like that. I'm gonna go ahead and fill all of my dots in, and then I'm gonna outline it in black so it pops more. So I'll be right back. I just finished painting and the details, and then I wrote my hometown's team name up there. So yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. I think the stain's a little too dark, but it's fine. So yeah, that's it. It's over now. Hmm. Tear running down my face. <laughs>